What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at how to make transitions like Fagium or Fagium or Fagium, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But nonetheless, let's get right into the video. Alright, so we got these clips here, I'll show you really quick. And it's basically just a bank crop. So if I press U on both of these, you can see it's just a scale and a position. So just how you would do your pan crop normally. You just gotta make sure the clips follow up on each other. So as you can see, we zoom in on her head and then it zooms in on his head again. So they fit together and that's also a very big part about making these transitions. Now the first step is to add a blur and we'll obviously be using Blur Cloud. And if you haven't heard about it, it's my own script, which makes adding blurs way easier. So if you want to check that out, it's in the description down below. So you can also add a blur manually, but as I said before, it's way easier this way. Um, and we'll be adding a normal blur. So just adjust the slider like this and then press this plus button. And there you go, you already have the blur automatically. All right, so then it will look like this. So it has this kind of blur. Now the next step is to add another adjustment layer. So Control Alt plus Y, or you can just right click here, new and then adjustment layer. All right, then we're going to cut it to the same length. And then we're going to add an effect called warp. All right, set the warp style to fisheye and then just make it minus 60, for example. All right, then go to the place where your transition is. And then you want to click on this icon to animate the bend. And then select this layer, press U, Go to the beginning and then here you want to set it to zero. And then at the end, you also want to set it to zero. And then you just select them all, press F9 and go to the graph editor. Then here you want to make a graph that looks like this. So drag this one up, this one a bit to the right. All right, then grab this handle here and just drag it down more and then hold shift and drag this one to the left. All right, then I feel like it needs to be more visible here. So let's just drag this to the left and then like this. All right, that looks a little nicer. And what he does is actually he just cuts it here. So Control Shift plus D and then he deletes the rest. So he just makes the warp on the first clip and then he just directly cuts to a normal clip again. But I think this one looks a little bit better uh, just so it's more smooth. All right, then the last thing that's really crucial for his transitions, it's to make it a little darker when the actual transition happens. So you do that by going to the same adjustment layer and then adding an effect called brightness and contrast. You can either make it darker or brighter. So we'll be making it darker for now. So animate this and then make sure you're on your transition and then make it darker like this. Then go to the beginning and make it zero and go to the end and make it zero as well. All right, then go to your keyframes and select them all, press F9 and then go to the graph editor. All right, then from now on, it's basically just the same thing. So you make this graph again like this. All right, you drag this one up and then like this. All right, so this is the version where it goes darker. And then you can also make it brighter. So just increase this and then do the opposite. So that's also something he does. All right, so that's how you make transitions like him. I'm not going to pronounce his name because I literally don't know how. But yeah, hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.